The Hospital for Sick Children has an integrated mission of patient care, education, and research. And it's really those three elements that are congealed together to form synergistic relationships that are much greater than each part separately. The Division of Pathology works within a larger department of pediatric laboratory medicine, and it is concerned with the anatomical changes in structure and function to tissues and the derivatives of tissue in uh, specimens coming from children. Pathology provides the diagnostic services for surgery, for uh, oncology, for uh, renal uh, diseases, and uh, has close interactions with the clinical services of the hospital. We also are involved uh, to a large degree with research. Dr. Cynthia Hawkins uh, is kind of our rising star at the present time and has been uh, instrumental in some key discoveries in certain uh, pediatric brain tumors. My research uh, here at SickKids on pediatric brain tumors focuses largely on a group of children who have a tumor of the brain stem called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. We started a program together with my colleagues in neuro-oncology uh, to collect those tumors post-mortem and doing an, a lot of genetic analysis of, of these most recently whole genome sequencing. And we've been able to uncover some new targets that we hope will be able to improve our ability to treat those patients in upcoming clinical trials. Dr. Gino Summers is one of our newer uh, colleagues and has had a special interest in pediatric solid tumor uh, cancers. My lab has discovered a number of findings by looking at these pediatric sarcomas and there's two findings in particular that are, are very exciting. The first relates to the genes that are involved in sarcoma development and the second relates to the proteins. With the genes, we found that a significant proportion of very aggressive sarcomas in children have an abnormal fusion gene. Um, and this has given us better insight into the early events of sarcoma development. The second major impact we've made is by looking at the proteins. Uh, there's one particular protein that in one sarcoma type actually promotes cell movement, but in the other sarcoma type, it hinders cell movement. So we think that um, this has obvious therapeutic implications. Dr. Ernest Kutz has uh, been for a long time kind of the model clinician scientist for the department. He has discovered new diseases in the gastrointestinal tract and new diseases in the respiratory system. My research spans a 40 years period. We started in early 1970s when we discovered unusual specialized cells in the lungs of human fetuses. These cells are a rare population uh, which represent about 1% out of 50 different lung cell types. So the study is extremely difficult and to overcome this we had to develop a variety of techniques and methods such as isolation and culture. Uh, we also use lung slices and uh, tumor cell lines, which are representative of these cells. And these techniques were developed so that we can do a specific targeting and probing of the cells at the membrane level, looking at ionic currents. One of the unusual things about uh, dealing with children is that they are not tiny adults so that um, when you have a specimen coming from a very small premature baby or from a child of different ages, uh, the volumes and the amount that you have to work with are actually very, very tiny so that the material is very precious. And then how you are able to work with that very limited material to then extract the maximal amount of information that's going to be helpful in patient management is one of the challenges and one of the exciting aspects of uh, working in this department at SickKids. The Research Institute is only going to increase renown with the, with the building of the new uh, Research and Learning Tower. And that tower is going to offer the opportunity for the various uh, researchers that are housed in different parts of the city to come together to form a very strong academic uh, innovative community. The most rewarding part of my work here at Sick Kids in Toronto is being part of a great team that helps children lead healthier lives. 
uh, that's very satisfying and that happens every day here.